Okay. So good afternoon, uh, Chairperson and my dear colleagues. Uh, today I like to discuss about the review on the dental autopsy. A uh, autopsy, an autopsy is a surgical procedure that consists of thorough examination of the corpse by dissection to determine the cause, mode, and manner of the death, or to evaluate the disease and the injury that may be present. The word autopsy is derived from the Greek word autopsia, meaning the act of seeing for oneself. The objective of autopsy is to identify the significant clues for an ongoing forensic investigation. Forensic odontology is a specialized branch of dentistry that deals with the proper handling and inspection of the dental evidence as well as the systemic evaluation and presentation of the dental finding. The need of incorporating dental autopsy in the routine autopsy procedure and the investigation is because there is a common problem that forensic team faces during the identification or approval state of the conservation of, of the unidentified body and incomplete presence of the remains or, or which may retard the identification process. In such a situation, oral autopsy helps to make the proper postmortem dental record. With the field of forensic dental evidence in the is considered to be the most trustworthy method of identification. A brief overview of history of the dental autopsy in India and abroad, if you see, the process has been used for more than 2000 years. The fundamental of the modern autopsy were introduced by Cedric Albert in, uh, and Rudolf uh, Walsh in 1821 in the 19th century in Germany. The systemic uh, evaluation and presentation of the dental finding occurred in the date in the date back to 49 AD in the Roman Empire, where teeth played a vital role in identification. Raja Raichandra Rathore of the Konoj died, uh, died on the dental, uh, battlefield in 1191 AD and was identified by his uh, false teeth, a false anterior teeth. And this was probably the first case of identification from the dentition from the India. The objective of dental autopsy is to identify the person, assessment of the age of the person, determination of the sex of the person, to find the dental evidence in the criminal and the civic uh, proceeding, all interests of, of the justice, identify the badly burned, uh, decomposed and skeletal remains, and uh, comparison of the anti-mortem and the post-mortem dental information. Dental autopsy techniques include the incision method, oropharyngeal complex resection, and the jaw resection method. But the problem with the dental identification is absence of the anti-motor uh, dental record, absence of the acquired dental tracts of, for identification, limitation of the storing the dental record for a certain period, poor quality of dental records. In a post-mortem situation, all the teeth may not be recovered as as a result of the post-mortem trauma or the loss, loss of PDL and fire can result in the irreversible changes of the dental restoration. So recently, a new method is introduced that is known as a virtual dental autopsy. The virtual uh, autopsy is a scalpel-free method that utilizes the combi uh, combination of the three-dimensional body surface scanning and the volumetric image, uh, imaging tool. Useful in cases of the mass disaster, incinerated and the chair body, death of the high profile individual, and bodies which, uh, which are in the state of the advanced protection. Virtual dental autopsy done by it is a non invasive imaging method to perform the autopsy. The first was presented in the 2003 as a tool in the forensic pathology, and it allowed the document and the analyze the forensic finding in the dead person. It consists of the whole body volume, uh, volume documentation using the CT, MRI, radiology, and combined with the 3D body documentation using the uh, photogrammetry and the optical scanning. Method for the virtual autopsy include the 2D and 3D video recording of the dental arches and the oral cavity using the intraoral camera and the smartphone and photography, uh, photographic collection of the dental arches, photogrammetry of the dental arches using the intraoral scanner, 3D scanning of the jaw and the skull, intraoral radiographic collection using the digital sensor, and any radiographic imaging 
of the skull, uh, skull like the panoramic image, OPG, PC scan, and if available, and live streaming using the smartphone and the smart glasses. So here with I would conclude that the introduction of this virtual autopsy in a forensic science will create a ease of identification and reduce the effort like uh, done in the conventional or dental autopsy. Thank you all for patience.